Hello everyone again and welcome. We'll be starting promptly in about one minute here at Online Trader Center. Your host presenter today, Melissa Arbo of the Stock Swoosh, is here with us. We'll be starting promptly on time. And you can see Melissa already has her first slide up there. I agree with money and the freedom. So again, thank you everyone and welcome. To all the um, to all the new folks that have just joined us, you are in the uh, 530 session here at Online Trader Central. Again, to everyone who has just uh, joined us, uh, we uh, close one event and start another one. We do want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. Uh, to the new folks that have just joined us, Melissa Armour was your host and presenter today. And the topic, as you can see, the uh, the slide is up there, a career with money and freedom. Melissa Armour is your host and presenter. Again, this is Online Trader Central. And with that, it's exactly 5.30. So if you would, please, let's, uh, let's begin percussion. Are you ready? Drummer. <laughs> Okay. And, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stockswish.com. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stockswish LLC. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. Today's topic and the lecture I'm going to discuss today is called A Career with Money and Freedom. And guess what that is? Of course, it is going to be trading. This is the career that we're going to talk about today because, after all, I myself am a trader. If you'd like more information, you can feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And you can go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype and add me to any one of these places. So let's get going here today. You know, it's December 9th, 2013. It's hard to believe the year is almost over, but it's almost 2014. And the end of the year is really a very good time for evaluating your career path. Specifically, if you are in a career that you're not happy with, it's a good time to think about this and to make some changes. So right now, think about the things that I'm saying. And if you have a notepad, you know, write this down. Ask yourself, do you have a career you love? Yes or no? Do you have freedom in your career? Yes or no? Obviously, the ideal answer would be yes. Do you run your job or does your job run you? You know, for a long, long time, about 17 years actually, before I started trading, I did mortgages. And I really felt like by the time I was ready to get out of that industry, that it was running me. It was running my whole life. And it wasn't the type of career I wanted to do forever. And then I found out about the market. And the great thing about the market is it also offers a chance for advancement. So think about the job you're doing right now. Does it actually offer you a chance to get promoted, to make more? Will you make more money next year in your job than you did this year? Or will you make less? You know, a lot of companies nowadays are expecting more from people and giving them less. They're not paying them overtime. They're not offering them normal cost of living raises. Do you have a job that pays you what you are worth? And think about this. This is important, you know, and, and also not only that, it's important to, to think in your mind, what are you worth? Like, what do you think you're worth to be paid per hour for the work that you do? This is very important. When I used to do mortgages, I always was thinking that when I was pricing my loans. How long was it going to take me to work on this job file? It's the same thing when I trade. How long am I going to be in this trade? Is this worth it? And do you find yourself exhausted at the end of each week because you just work flat out too many hours? This is a problem for a lot of people, and, and it's unfortunate. But this is the world we live in right now, and this is why it's time to do some evaluation. And last but not least, do you enjoy what you do every day? I actually do enjoy what I do every day now for a living, which is trading. I like it a lot. So I'm going to talk to you about this here today. Ask yourself, what is your dream career? Does it involve freedom, something where you could do it, and you can control your own time. If you want to take a day off, if you want to take a vacation, if you don't want to work 40 hours a week. For a lot of people, this is your dream career. This type of thing, you can go to the beach, you can go on vacation, do whatever you want. For some people, a dream career really means just a job that has a high income potential where you have a great amount of money that you can make each year. Uh, for some people, this is a dream job. And 
also for some, it's just doing something that they enjoy, something that's fun. And for me, it's actually a combination of all of these things. And not only that, I have time for leisure when I trade. And if you choose to become a trader, you too will have time to do other things, things in the afternoon, things in the weekends. This is not the type of job where you're working seven days a week or even six days a week. You're not expected to work overtime as a trader. It's not possible. Uh, the market is only open from 9.30 to 4. So what kind of career can offer all of these items and more? It's trading, trading the market. And I clipped a chart here of the QQQs from today. And you can see the nice bullish move the market's had here for pretty much this whole calendar year of 2013. So why trade? Well, because trading is a career that can offer you financial freedom, fulfillment, and not only that, happiness. Why? Because you're not working like a dog to make money. And you're working for yourself. You can have the life you want if you are willing to learn something new and develop the skills to become successful in a new industry. And I want to highlight this word skill because training successfully and being a quality trader, being a good trader, a profitable trader is learning a skill. It's, that's all that it is. It's really just as simple as that. It's learning a skill, mastering that skill, and then you turn it into cash. So training is a career that can offer you money, freedom, and a chance for advancement. And I find it fun, and I'm making it fun for a lot of people. And it's actually fun to teach, too. So if you learn how to trade the market, you can be your own boss and work from home, which is great for a lot of people nowadays, specifically if they have kids or a spouse with a different type of hour or job schedule. You can set your own schedule and work just a short time of day for a comfortable income. There is a trading strategy that I personally trade, and I teach it, that sets up very quickly in the morning, and the strategy is gaps. Gaps not only work fast, but they also offer a good risk-to-reward payout. And here's the, here's the whole point of this in reference to having a career, because this is important. Because you need a sustainable trading method if you want trading to be your career. Now, some people here might want to trade as a part-time job or a part-time income, and that's fine. You can parlay your career right now and do trading part-time and then eventually go full-time. But it is very, very important that you have a sustainable trading method if you really want to do this for consistent income that you can say, yes, this is my career. So what do you need? You need number one, you have to have a strategy that's reliable, it's got to set up often, and it has to have a good risk-to-reward payout. So why? Why trade? Because the setups and the profit happen fast. That gives you the rest of the day to go about your business and not have to work until 4 o'clock. Also, you can go do other things, have time for leisure, have the weekends off, and you can work from home. And this is very convenient for a lot of people. Again, specifically if they have children or other responsibilities or things they have to do, working from home is very convenient for people. And also you don't have to commute or any of those other hassles sometimes are involved when you have a job you have to get to. Like today, the weather was, uh, the weather was really terrible this morning. I live in the East Coast. Uh, we had a snowstorm last night and ice this morning. Didn't affect me from trading, got up this morning, traded, did my thing. Didn't have to worry about getting out and defrosting the car, any of those things at all, or get, you know, commuting anywhere. I just continue to do my thing. I can work from home. Don't have to worry about the snow. So the other benefit of trading is that you can become good over time and start to actually invest money to save for the future in long-term positions in trades. And we're going to look at some of those longer-term moves today as well. So this is just an added benefit. You know, when you get to a point in your life, and for some people this comes, uh, you know, at the age of 30. For some it's the age of 40. For some it doesn't come to the age of 50, 60, or even 70. But whenever that is, when you go to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization that your life is your own creation. Not someone else's, but yours. And this is a great thing about trading. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together. Things start working and flowing in your life and how much your life can change for the better. Sometimes it's just about opening up our eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life and that we can actually do something different. We can actually learn a completely new skill. Whether you're a trader now and you don't know how to trade the strategy I do and you learn that as a new skill or whether you don't trade in the market at all and you want to learn a completely new type of different career. Ultimately, it's about job security and this is very important in today's economy. Why? Because today's world is not the same as 25 years ago 
or 10 years ago, or even five years ago before the bank bailout. People are not at jobs anymore for this length of time, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. What we think is a secure job today may be gone tomorrow. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking. It may not even matter to our employer in the end. If the company can't keep you on, it has nothing to do with you. If the company has poor management, they might fail. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you or your own work ethic or your own skills. Or your industry might fail. For example, this is what happened with the banking industry. And again, it has nothing to do with you. You are a skilled, intelligent person with a great mind. And you can work for yourself in the market if you learn how. You can create your own job security. And by the by, you have to do this. I mean, you've got to. This is it. This is it, okay? Creating your own sense of security. It's the only way you can ever feel 100% secure. You can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and make money trading. This is about personal responsibility, and sometimes this is about taking it upon yourself to learn something new. So... One quality strategy is all you need to become successful as a trader if you want to do this as a career. That's really all that you need. I'm only actually doing one strategy, and not only that, I'm only trading it in one direction. I short stocks. I never buy stocks. So I do one strategy, and I actually only do it in one direction. Why? Because that's all you need, and I've proven that. One quality strategy is all you need to learn to pay yourself on a regular basis in the market. Knowing one good strategy you can replicate over and over for profits can change your trading world, and it will if you're not doing something that's profitable right now. And if you're all over the place and not having a focus at all, it's very important to get focused. Having one powerful strategy that pays you will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market, and not only that, to your own personal power to be able to do something, to be able to do something to create your own life. The market can offer your real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. And what strategy can offer you these things? It's called professional gaps, and this is what I do. But the real technical name is actually called professional gaps. A professional gap, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to go over the definition here. This is a strategy. It's called a professional gap. It is really a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. So if a stock is gapping down, that means that the stock is going to continue going down. If the stock is gapping up, that means the stock is going to continue rallying up. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap and holding the gap and creating the momentum in the gap. And this is where uh, the consistency and not only that the profit lies in this type of strategy. In the case of a bullish gap, professionals, I mean hedge fund managers, banks, people with large money positions, they are buying the stock, okay? And therefore, the stock moves higher on the trading day. In the case of bearish gaps, professionals are shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower in the day. So I am trading a gap with a move of the actual price of the gap based on reading what institutions and professionals are doing. And this is why this strategy is so powerful to do as a career strategy, because it's something that happens consistently, and it's also something that you're doing with the professionals, and therefore you're going to get large moves with good momentum. So what I do, the strategy, the system I teach and I trade, I named it. I called it the Golden Gap System. And the reason is because it's like finding gold when I see these things set up in the market. But really, Golden Gaps are just professional gaps that I find and pick and rate. And they're called Golden Gaps because they have a high odds. What I mean, a high odds are working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large momentum move. And if you've ever traded before, you know it's about putting the odds in your favor when you're picking what things to trade each day. It's all about high probability, and this is what gives you an edge, and my system gives me an edge because I'm putting the odds in my favor. Anything that can put the odds in your favor to trade will give you an edge, and the Golden Gap system gives you an edge because it uses a rating or scoring system to pick the stock to trade. It reads the price of the gap, and using technical analysis on a very advanced level, pinpoints which stock to trade that day and in what direction. The high probability is in the quality and detail in the rating system. For example, I look at 26 points, okay, when I'm looking at a gap in the morning. Per my system, it has to get 20 or more. And 26 points is an enormous amount of detail to look at to determine and rate a stock. 
It takes about five to 10 minutes to rate one gap if you're new, and it takes less than five minutes once you become experienced with the system. So it sounds like 26 things, that's a lot, but it's really not because once you get good at it, you can do it in less than five minutes. And at the beginning when you're new, it's gonna take you a little bit more time. So this is a professional bearish gap system. This is the way that I trade. This is a methodology I trade. Again, in one strategy, one direction as a career. I'm doing this as a career. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And I'm doing this to put the odds and the probabilities in my favor. Why? Because there's thousands of stocks every day to pick from to trade. If you don't have a way to narrow things down, your odds of success are not high. You have got to narrow down what stock symbols you like each day. And why are you picking them? And how are you taking the setups? And that's really the whole philosophy behind my system, this 26-point system. It's to find stocks to trade that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Things that have big moves on the day. We're going to look at some examples here in a, in a bit from last week. Early confirmation. This is what I really, really like. I like the early confirmation of my bias in a move between 9.30 and 10. And I also am looking for precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And Kathy's putting some information there. If anyone has any questions while we're going along, please feel free to ask me. I can answer questions as we're going along here today. So I use a 26 point checklist and using this to trade creates a high probability of success. If something does not rate 20 points or more, I do not trade it. If it rates 20 points or more, I watch it to trade on the day. And that's how I choose what to do every day. You know, ultimately, the more often you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself and the more conviction you will have in your own ability to trade well. One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap strategy. And this conviction will help you produce positive results. And you've got to have these things. Staying positive might be a challenge for some traders, but it is absolutely a requirement for success. This is a requirement for success for anyone, anyone at all who wants to earn a high paying income that the stock market offers. So how are you getting in there with these other people, these other market participants? How are you pressing the button? How are you doing this? And it doesn't matter if you're new, you're trading small size, or obviously if you're trading larger size with more risk, you've got to feel confident. How are you going to do that? My rating system, when the stock ranks high, it gives me confidence. It gives me conviction. It allows me to press the button and take the risk in my trades. There's no getting away from the fact that trading the market involves a risk. And by the way, the market is a place that will pay risk takers, people who are willing to take risk. But you have to do it with forethought and you have to take calculated risk. How are you going to do that? You've got to pick things that are good and have high odds of working, and then you t move forward. So the whole philosophy behind this system is really I'm looking at a larger time frame. Okay, I'm looking at a daily chart. That's where I'm getting all the points to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. That's why this works so well, because the points are on the daily. And I'm trading and I want to be on the side with the professionals, with the institutions. And then I'm honing it down to get the risk to reward to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a smaller time frame, the one minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. So using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction, whether long or short. And using the one minute chart, which is where I take trades, and we're going to go over that here in a minute, allows for good risk to reward trades and also with accuracy. And this is very, very important when you're getting into things because you want to know if it hits this number that it's going to go. And if it goes beyond this number, it's not going to work. So how are you going to make a career out of trading golden gaps? Well, you're going to get up each morning and look for them. During quarterly earning seasons, there are four earning seasons in a year in the market. Usually, I get three to five quality gaps per day or more to watch. Now, that doesn't mean you have to take three to five uh, per day. I like to hone in on one or maybe two, but they're there if you want to do multiple trades. During non-earning season, in between the earning seasons, there's usually about a four to six week period in between each quarter. There's three to five quality gaps per week to watch. I get this question a lot, so I thought I would put this in here. 
A quality gap, again, is one that rates high enough to trade based on the 26-point rating system. What does that mean? 20 points or more. So this is more than enough picks, more than enough setups, more than enough gaps and quality gaps, okay, per the system to make a living out of doing this in a calendar year. More than enough. You've got to focus on trades that have a good risk to reward. So for every dollar you risk, your goal should be to make $3 a day to trade. Not one to one or one to two, but one to three. Then if something goes to a larger target, you can make much more. How you choose to money manage, though, is part of your overall money management plan as a trader. This, is again, comes down to personal responsibility. Trading is ultimately about making money and booking it on a consistent basis and keeping your losses small. Having solid, profitable trades with good risk reward on a regular basis will eventually help you take more size, and this always has to be the goal. I'm going to go over an example of this in a minute. Some trades can make more than $3 per trade on the higher end. If a stock goes to a bigger target, the payout could be $8 to $10 per $1 risk. And that's wonderful when that happens. So like I was saying, trading with size, how do you get to the point where you can do this and risk more? Well, you've got to have confidence. You've got to have conviction. You have to understand the system. Because really, the only difference between a beginner trader, intermediate trader, and an advanced trader is size. A trader cannot risk more money per trade and take size until they know how to accurately trade over a period of months. How many months? It depends how, how quickly you pick up the skill of rating the gaps, seeing the entries, seeing them in live time. I'm really, really good with seeing entries in live time. This is why I'm, you know, running the live trading room. I see things, I take it, boom, I put the stop in, I see it immediately. I know when I see it. Trading with size really is the goal. And one play with size can make your whole week. Two or three great plays a month can make your whole month. And this is true. I mean, this is true. And this is obviously the goal for everybody that wants to do this. So like if you are a beginner and you want to take 200 shares, great. Take what risk you can afford. If this stock moves a dollar, that's $200 profit. That's good. If you are an intermediate trader and you take 2,000 shares, if the stock moves a dollar, you have 2,000 profit. This is great. Fantastic. If you have 8,000 shares, this is an advanced trader of a stock that moves a dollar, that's $8,000 profit. This is obviously the goal and where you want to be. The amount you choose to risk must be in accordance with your individual risk parameters, which you set yourself. And I always trade stocks with volume. People always ask me, how do you take this kind of position size in something, Melissa? I'm trading stocks with volume. I have volume requirements, and I'm not doing things that are thin. In fact, uh, I passed on a, on a stock today, EZPW. I called it. I called it this morning. I said it was going to work. It was a nice gap. It was going to drop. I never traded it. Didn't take a trade in it. It was way too thin. It did not meet my volume requirements, but it was a nice bearish move. So I'm looking for stocks that have volume for me personally, since I'm an advanced trader. Let's look here at some that happened last week. And I clipped this uh, just over the weekend, but EXPR broke today. EXPR broke today. I went back and looked at the chart here right before the close. Uh, EXPR booped up a little bit here this morning, held under 20. The gap's intact from this and dropped, and this is going to have a nice bearish move follow through for tomorrow. EXPR broke through today, but this was a move last week that I played. So what I did was I'm showing trades from just the last three days of last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to go over them. And, and I could show more, uh, but Kevin only gives me an hour to talk here. So I thought it'd be a good example to just go over the current things here that have recently happened. Just to kind of give you an idea um, how if you put a, a week together and a month together, how things can flush out to be a real career. So let's look at the XPR. This had a beautiful opening here. This is a strategy I'm doing. What is this? This is a gap. Actually, let's go back here and look at the daily. So the stock closed here the night before 24.75. This is the gap. The gap means that the stock opened at a different price than it closed yesterday. That's all that the gap is, really. Then I rate the XPR. I love this. I was totally into this. I love this move. I love this gap. I talked about it all morning long, and it worked very nicely. And when the stock opened here immediately, it showed immediate weakness, which was a great sign. The entry here was at 940. You take the position, the price to enter is $20.10. Stop over 2030. This is an advanced risk. On 2,500 shares, you can risk $500. Exits 1952. Total profit, this is at the first exit. This is the first exit on this, is $1,490. So this first exit on this trade was almost a 3R trade. 
And that's it. This happened in 20 minutes. Boom. You're up almost 1500 bucks from here to here. And it's a beautiful day. And you could stop for the day or you could do another train. And your day is in by 10 o'clock. This is really this type of move here right away as it happens in the morning into this period here into 10 o'clock reversal time. You could trade every day from 9.30 to 10. Do a setup if you get it. Get the move, get out, and just go on with your day. Again, it's, it's, it's a great living once you learn how to do these setups. Now, I want to point out something else. EXPR went to the dream target. I was talking earlier about the goal is three R's, three R's within a short period of time, usually in the morning. But if you have time and if you don't mind holding to a target, sometimes stocks and gaps do go to dream targets. EXPR went to the dream target last week. This is last Wednesday. And if you wanted to hold this on down, it went all the way down. This is actually, look at this. Look at the nice flush movement on this. Look, this is just amazing. This, this is almost a vertical drop here. And if you wanted to hold this to the dream target, it got there. Entry would have been the same. Risk is the same. If you didn't get out of anything, nothing at all, at the first move and held it all the way through and got out of the dream target, which is basically by 1860, got within two pennies of it. The risk to reward on this trade is 7.4. This is a great trade. This is a fantastic trade. And it would have taken you two and a half hours. It would have taken you a little bit longer than 20 minutes. But again, this is worth it sometimes to have these kinds of moves. So this could be your whole week. I mean, this could have been your whole week here. Three, four grand a week, that's making a living. That's a career. And specifically when this time frame. Now, again, you had to hold this to the dream target to do it, but it was a great gap. It rated highly per the Golden Gap rating system. And I knew this was going to work. Okay? And here's the move. Entry's the same. And like I said, if you look at this chart here today, this is lower now. This will break a new low sometime in the next two weeks. It's heading on down. It's really a nice, beautiful move. So this was Wednesday. All right, so let's look at then what happened on Thursday. Thursday, this was last week. This was Sol, S-O-U-S-O-L. Here is the move. This was the gap here on Thursday that I did. It doesn't look like much at all, but it actually had a beautiful risk to reward trade. Here was the Golden Gap play for SOL. Entry right here. Again, same time frame. And look at the move. Had a perfect exit on this, actually. I got out here. This was actually the low of the day. I actually had a perfect, perfect entry and exit on this one here. It could have gone longer this day. It did not. It went to the dream target the next day. Uh, but I got out of this one here. Let's take a look at it. Entry time, 940. Price was 377. Stop was over 383. On 8,000 shares, risk was $480. Again, this is an advanced risk. Exit was 358. Total profit, 1560. Can you, know, can you imagine having a career where every day when you hit it, you're making $1,500? Every day you just hit it, 1500 Every day you hit it, 1500 Some days you get three. Some days you make four. I mean, every day you hit it. Do you see how you can make a career out of doing this? You keep your losses minimal. You don't run away with yourself when things don't work. You don't trade days there isn't anything good, or you trade less size on those days. And every day you get a three, four hour trade, you're hitting in this range. You see, you risk $500, 1500 2000 Every day you get three, four hour trades. I mean, this, these, these numbers start to add up. And this is how you're doing this and paying yourself. This trade here was a 3.2 hour trade. Again, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And this one here, I had a perfect exit. Now, what happened on this on the next day? I, I actually did this Friday too. Day two was Friday. I did trade this Friday. Would you believe that I got out of this too early? I never thought this would go all the way down to $3 on Friday. I thought the target on this was $3.30. And actually, it was the first target. But this followed through and broke and actually broke $3. You could have played this two days in a row, and the dream target was hit through then on the second day. Here's, I just clipped this chart. I didn't put the uh, entry examples, but this was on Friday. I played this. I was in this, like, within the first two minutes of the day, but I just didn't hold it all the way down to the break. Never thought this would run like this on the day, but it had a beautiful, beautiful move, a nice bearish move on day two and went to the dream target. So sometimes you will get stocks to go to dream target in the first day. And sometimes you will get them to go to Dream Target on the second day. You know, again, this is all about money management. But particularly if I have a 3R trade in, I'd like to book it.
And I also like to be done quickly in the morning too. This is a personal preference. Uh, but you can trade and hold these things down in the afternoon if you want to too. Uh, you would have had to be in this SOL pretty much all day to get it down here. Well, you could have taken it off here, it looks like around one o'clock. Let's hit, hit on through $3. Tim's asking a good question. How do I scan for potential golden gaps from so many stocks? Excellent question. Tim, here's what I use. I use this site, which is free. Oops. Kathy, it's bumping it up there. There. That site is free. Okay. This site is free. And I also use my platform scanner, which is free. Okay. Because I pay for my platform. So I have a scanner that's in my platform. I, I may as well just use it because it's free. You can also use this service, which I used to have, um, but I canceled it actually because I found that I was getting everything from these other sites I'm giving you. And you can also use this, which is free. So I use my uh, platform mostly because I'm paying for the platform, then I don't have to pay for a separate service. But you can, you know, get a separate service if you want. But I find that there was an overlap, so then I ended up canceling it because there's lots of other free sites there that I just gave you. You can find stocks that are gapping on. And there are loads of them. You're never going to be without needing to find any. And, okay, go ahead. Bookie's asking a question. How long do I average to hold my trains? I, I'd say I'd say 20, 30 minutes is an average for me. There's some days I'm out of a trade in five minutes. It's like so crazy rare that I'd be in a trade all day. Like I could just probably say it almost never happens. If I'm in something for an hour or more, I've already booked something. So, you know, I'm not holding the whole position, for example. Like, let's just go back to this guy here, this EXPR. If I had, or no, the, the um, Sol. Here. If I had decided to do this here, if I had decided to hold this, I would have never held the whole thing. So I took the trade here in the morning, got out into the drop. If I had decided I was going to hold the, this to the target, I would have never held the whole thing. I just wouldn't have because I have, I'm trading with too much size. So me personally, I would have gotten out of half here, let it rally back, lowered the stop, and then held the rest on through. And I think that that's actually a good way to train for anyone with sizable positions. It's, it's just money management. I, I got out of this whole thing, though, all right, in the beginning here in the morning. But if I had decided or believed or had 100% conviction that it was going to the dream target on the second day, uh, meaning $3, I would have never held the whole position. I would have taken half out, and then I would have gotten the rest down into the number. Experience teaches you that um, when you're up a certain amount of money, you do have to exit a portion of the position. This, all of this is part of your trading plan, and it's all part of your personality. If you can stay in the whole thing until 3 o'clock, great. That is something that I typically don't do. By the lunchtime period, even if I see something's down into it, I like to get out of something. EXPR was done by like noon, noonish around the lunchtime period. Never broke any low after that. Uh, sometimes these things do take all day like SOL, but for the most part, I find things make the moves in the morning and even the dream targets are usually hit by lunch. Uh, Bookie's asking another question. Let's go back and look at the daily. He's saying, do gaps ever, I think you mean, fill themselves. Is that what you mean, Bookie? I think this is what you mean. He, I think Bookie's asking this. Is that what you mean? Do gaps ever fill themselves? Because you're saying close, but I think this is what you mean, right? Sometimes gaps do do things like that, but not gaps that I play, okay? Yeah, that's what you mean. Bookie's asking, do gaps ever fill themselves? Like, would this go up here and rally? Sometimes gaps do that, yes. Is it a likelihood that I would rate it and over 20 points that it would do it? No. Part of my rating system takes into account for things that are going on in the price and the daily chart. And I don't have this happen to me often. It's like so rare, I can't even think of one. Actually, I'm trying to think of one here. You know what the only one I can think of in the last even six months? Holex. Holex failed as a, as a bearish gap. I don't, I don't think it filled anything, but I know it flipped around and rallied on the day, went over the high of the day, and I never reshorted it. 
uh, my rating system accounts for what's going on in the overall chart and the price. And that's why I made up the system in the first place, Boogie, because I didn't want to be caught in things like that that fail. What do I mean fail? Fail on the day and flip around and go green. I'm pinpointing the goodies, the ones that are going to break and go like this, like this EXPR. Here, let me just go back to this quickly here. This was so great. And I know that people were trying to flip this thing. Why? Why would anyone try to flip this thing? Well, let's look at the one minute. If you didn't see and rate this gap the way I did, you might have bought this in here. Why? This came down and retested the low here at 9.35 reversal time and set up as a buy setup. If you might have been a trader that bought this, why? Didn't go over the high, came down here, held the low, and did a buy setup, and came up here and looked like it was about to blow. Okay? Blow where? Higher. Up and run up $5 and take everybody out, including me it would have taken out, but it did not do it. And this is this is this is a great read to see the, this the way that I did. This was going to hold, okay? This is what I do. This is what I'm good at doing. This is why I have a rating system that, that looks at so many different things. But I know traders tried to buy things like this, and it's a terrible buy, and it's not a good buy, and it's just not a buy at all. Why? Because it rated over 20 points, and it's not going to go anywhere but down. And overall, looking at the daily chart of EXPR was a very, very damaging gap. But I think a lot of traders missed the boat here, they think, that this is going to close, like Vicky said, or fill, the, fill itself. Why? Because we're looking at this as a gap to support. Because do you see here that the stock gapped down here, approximately this area here. Stock came down, ran into here, made a pivot, gapped up. Ran up here, came down here, ran up here, ran up here up to $25. Gapped down here to the area prior support over here to the left. But that's not what this is. That's not what this is at all. This is the wrong read if you're looking at this as a buy to support. That's the wrong way to read it. Again, uh, support and resistance are very, very important factors in how I choose to watch a stock to trade. Here, here's a good example, too. Infi. Infi today was a bullish gap. I do not go long, but I saw the bullish gap in Infi today, and I said it was going to fail. I said it was going to fail. In fact, I, I, I just shorted, shorted it out of the game. Uh, somebody asked me about it today in the room is along. I said, don't buy this. Don't buy it at all. It's a short. Infi dropped uh, five, six dollars today. How did I know that bullish gap was going to fail? How did I know that? Because I understand support and resistance. I understand overall chart reading directional trend. I understand all those things because I know how to read gaps. And gaps are the most important thing of price in a chart. It tells you so much information. And I think that's one of the benefits of doing my class. If, if you're somebody that uh, doesn't want to day trade and you want to swing trade or core trade, you, you've got to be in these things in the right direction and things can gap against you all the time you're taking overnight positions. How are you going to be able to make proper decisions to take things on or off when you see a gap happen in a chart? You have to be able to read directional trend. And if you don't know how to read directional trend, you shouldn't be in it overnights at all. And if you don't know how to read directional trend, you actually shouldn't trade at all because this is how you're going to make money. This looks like a gap to support, a prior support back here in EXPR, which, by the way, was in an uptrend prior to this gap. EXPR was in an uptrend prior to this gap. On this day here, on December 3rd, EXPR was officially in an uptrend and gap down to support. And if you read it as an uptrend, which it was here, and thought to buy it on support here, you got stopped out here. It was not an uptrend anymore. When? Why? As of what moment? As of the moment of the gap. When the gap happened here in the fourth, EXPR was no longer then in an uptrend. It is now in a downtrend. The downtrend is holding it broke again today, and the stock is lower. And so you cannot buy a stock that is in a downtrend. Uh, bookie, why do I choose to trade gaps the way I trade? Why do I choose to trade gaps as a way to trade? Uh, because they're very profitable. Because, because of this guy right here. Because of this thing right here um, where there's nothing hanging on to it and it's just a disaster times 10. Because of this, because I can get momentum plays. Because of this, because I can take an entry in something here with a 20 cent stop that can run a dollar and a half. Because of this, because I can be done and made money by 10 o'clock if I really want to every day that I trade and get a gap. Because I don't have to work till 4 o'clock. Because I don't have to worry about the market. Because I can short stocks in a bullish market, which I did this entire year. This is the best trading year I've ever had in my life. And it, the market was bullish the entire year, and all I did was short. Never did a long this year. I think I went long one time in the market about a month ago. I love trading gaps because there's just a million reasons. Time of the day, quick um, out of them, good risk to reward. Don't have to worry about the market. Momentum that happens. 
and seeing these kinds of things like this that nobody in the world that, you know, would know anything about gaps would know what to do. Because normal people that look at stuff that support and resistance would buy this. Normal people would look to buy this on the 200. This is a support. The first target on this trade the day here back at 330 was a support area in Seoul. I didn't buy it there. I got out of my short. But you know, it broke even more. Why? How? How did that happen? How is it possible? How can a $3 stock have a move like this in two days because of the gap? The stock closed up here at $4.50. The next day it opened down here at $3.80 something. This stock had a dollar move and lost half its value almost in basically two days. This is the reason I like playing gaps. I only enter after the open. Yes, booking. I am not in a trade pre-market, although I get up in the morning very, very early, see these gaps, and I could take them pre-market. Sometimes they drop a dollar into themselves before I'm even short them, but I never enter a trade till after the open. Rick D., so you almost entirely do gap downs rather than gap ups. I 100% do gap downs. Not almost, it's 100%. I never, 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 never do gap ups. Do I call them in the trading room? Yes. Do I tell people what I like when they ask me questions or if I don't like them? Yes. I went long the market about a couple weeks ago when the market was in a bullish power uptrend and I just called the market a one minute high in the afternoon one day. But I haven't gone long any bullish gaps this whole year. I just don't like going long. This is nothing but a personal preference. You could take my class and flip the points and do the bullish gaps. I have people that are doing that. I have people that are, love to do longs, and they take my class and flip the points to go long. And you can do that. And that's how I know how to read good up gaps. Am I doing them? No. Why? Because I like shorts. I like the selling that can happens in these shorts. I like the type of catastrophe activity. I like to be in these things early in the morning. And I got to be honest with you. Bullish gaps don't have this kind of goings on immediately always in the morning like bearish gaps do. There's a panic action that happens when the stock gaps down. It's down. It's a crushing blow to the stock price. In longs, people have to think about it. Should I buy it? Maybe should I buy it? Do I want to buy it? Yeah, I think I want to buy it. And then they set up and the momentum starts to come in like after 10 o'clock. Okay. So for the shorts, I can be done quicker, faster, selling, boop, and out. And I'm just making money faster. With the longs, it's there's not a panic action. There's nothing forced. The, there's nothing forced to go long. No one's forcing you to go long. If you're long a stock and it gaps down and you're down money or you were up money and now you're not up as much, you're forced to do something. You're like, crap, I got to get out of this thing. What do I do? <gasps> ah, I have to get out. And then you get out. So it's like with going long, nobody cares. Should I go long? Maybe I should go long. Yeah, I think I'll go long. Yeah, I guess I'll go long. And do you know what I'm saying? So the shorts happen faster. Um. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Bookie. All right, let's go over the last one here, which is AAEO. AEO, which, poof, this was a good call I made on Friday. This stock barely gapped at all. It just happened to have earnings, and I just love the chart. Again, I love the chart. I love the weakness in the chart here. I love the just the total weakness in the chart here. Um, and this was the move that AEO had here on Friday, and AEO still lower. It just sat around like a dud today. I watched it today, but AEO was still, still lower. Entry in this here was here. This was on Friday, and it fell off a cliff. What happened here? What is this? What's going on? Selling, 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 panic, selling, 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 sell, sell more, get us out. Oh my gosh, sell it. Okay, this is actually an institution selling out of this position because it really didn't gap that much. It's set up really funky-like, and the long and short of it is that I hardly doubt any traders really even saw this or got this move in AEO on Friday. It was a weird configuration. Didn't really gap necessarily that much, but I saw it before it happened. Why? Because I was watching it. I like the weakness of the chart, and this is pure unadulterated selling of institutions coming into this, the, into this and it ran down more than a buck. Price was 15.92. Stop is nice and tight. It's another reason I like gaps booking. 16.02. Risk is 10 cents. 10 cents. 10 cents. Okay, so you can take a 5,000 share position. And again, this has volume. Exit in this 14.80. Total profit if you took this trade was an 11 hour trade. 11 hour trade again. 20 30 minutes. 20 30 minutes. 5,600 dollars in 20 30 minutes. What if you did a trade like this twice a month? Could you make a living out of that as long as you kept yourself under control in between? A few small losses, a couple three-hour trains? Yes, yes, you can. 
and you're making money and then all of a sudden one day you're risking more than five hundred dollars and and this is the kind of thing you got to be on the lookout for and you got to know how to read these charts you got to know how to read these price actions here and by the way this uh tested down in here 1465 today twice is going to break it i don't know why it didn't break it today it's slow as a snail uh but it will get on down here and break and fall like a brick this is going to break 14 dollars. it should do it in the next week uh, i don't know what this is waiting for Yes, I do. Tim is asking me if I have a live daily trading room. I do. It's for members only. You need to take the Golden Gap course to become a member of the live trading room. However, uh, you certainly can email me about that. I call my trades. I say, take it here, put the stop over here. Take it here, put the stop over here. It's exactly how I call it EXPR. It's exactly how I call it SOL. It's exactly how I call it the AEO. I said, take it here, put the stop over here. Boom. I'm doing it live. I'm doing it in front of people. So let's just quickly look here. Weekly totals. This is just over three days. Non-dream target. Non-dream target in the XPR. This is not holding it to the dream target. 1450. Sol 1520. And AEO totals 8570. So in three days, if you did these three trades and you didn't hold this one to the dream target, this one rolled over to the dream target so it was easy to hold. And this one I just had a good exit on. Three days over eight grand. So if you are not an advanced trader, and let's just pretend you only risked 125 per trade, if you did three trades, you could have made over two grand in three days, $2,200. So advanced risk, 500 per trade could result in this type of activity or profit in three days. Smaller risk, 125. This is like beginner to intermediate, 125, $2,225 in three days. Okay, and this is December, by the way, people. This isn't even earnings season. Okay, this is not earnings season now. I'm looking for gaps. I'm just looking for whatever I get on any given day. So gaps are very useful tools. Why are they useful? Because you can play them as day trades and also swing trades. 90% of the gaps I trade have fall through for swinging core trades. Why? Why? How? Because the Golden Gap 26 point rating system is a very specific and detailed read on the price in a gap. And when a stock rates over 20 points per the system, the chart is damaged and selling continues to come into the chart to push the price down for further moves lower. More selling and more shorting means more momentum for you to capitalize in the first day and beyond if you know how to find spot and rate the gap per the Golden Gap rating system. Infi today gapped up. I called it as a failed bullish gap. But Infi prior to today, actually, I hadn't been tracking that chart, got to the dream target for the swing and core trade. It broke the number. I actually have Infi in the trends class. And the next time I do that class, I have to update it because I played a lot of gaps on Infi. I played gaps, uh, shorts on Infi a million times this year. I'm not in as an overnight, but I didn't even see that it went to the dream target. And, and that's how I kind of knew Infi would break again today. Um, my friend Tom, who's been, follows me and does my trades, actually did a lecture in the live trading room last week and he talked about IAG, how I called IAG in January and it lost like a bazillion dollars since the end of this year. I mean, so these follow through, uh, gaps are just unbelievable and it's almost like too good to be true. Easy PW is another one. Of course I have losses, Bookie. What a silly question. Of course there's days I lose. Without a shadow of a doubt, there's days I lose. How am I able to make money by the end of the week and the end of the month? Easy. I don't let my losses get out of control, okay? I do not let my losses get out of control. So if I, I actually give myself like five or six full on trades a day, but I never get anywhere near that number. If I'm down two in a row or three, something's wrong. Either things aren't working right or are the markets too bullish and I just stop. You know, you shouldn't be pushing the envelope every day that you trade. You just can't do that. You will have two or three days or maybe four a month where you will lose. They should not be huge. They shouldn't be stop out days. You should be able to know yourself well enough, which I do now, that, oh, something's wrong here. I don't have it this morning or something's not right. This isn't working. And then you just pull yourself back and you stop. The worst thing you can do is let yourself get out of control. The only way you're going to make money doing this is if you only have a few small lost days a month. And that's where the money magic comes into the whole idea of trading. So I wanted to plop this in here. I'm teaching regular people. People always say, well, I know you can do it, Melissa, but what about me? 
I'm teaching regular people, regular, regular everyday people. And I'm a regular person too, although I'm very good at what I do. But normal, regular people can learn how to trade the market. I'm teaching regular people. Some of the people I'm teaching have a lot of money. I will say that, okay? And some of them have not as much. Some people I'm teaching knew nothing before they met me, nothing at all, never traded the market. And some have been stockbrokers or have traded the market for over 20 years. And it is really very complimentary that I have had some of these people that have had made money from my calls and are, are, are in my room. I have people that are quite experienced that are in my room and learning from me. And it is really very complimentary. But they are regular people, okay? So whatever your experience level is currently, if you are not having the success you want or not having any success at all with the market, then it's time for you to step back and evaluate. Don't continue doing the same thing getting nowhere. I know as traders, uh, I know a lot of people, they tend to want to do that. Well, you know, it's not the right idea. The end of the year calendar year is a good time. It's a good time to reorganize and learn new information to become a more skilled and profitable trader. And the time to do it is now. Trading is a great career because it offers money, it offers personal freedom, and not only that, it offers an unlimited potential for growth and success. Going into 2014, I always think, what are, what is my goals for the next year? I see what I did this year. I say, okay, now what's my goals for next year? Do I want to increase my risk for next year? You're always moving ahead and looking ahead. I mean, what more can you want in a career? There's really not much more you can want in a career. So the Golden Gap course will help you find the stocks to trade in the market. Now, I, I put this in here because I think it's important. What do you need to succeed? Besides the Golden Gap course, what do you need to succeed? I came up with this this year, and I talked about this one day in the room. I call it the four C's. The four C's by the stock swish, and what are they? Number one, clarity. Absolute clarity. You rate the gap. It rates over 20 points. You know you like it. Clarity. I know what I'm doing on the day. I'm looking for my gaps. I'm rating my gaps. I'm looking for over 20 points. I'm looking for the setup in the first couple of minutes of the day, and I know I want to short this. It's clarity, knowing what to do. Number two, confidence. I believe in myself. I believe that I can be successful. I believe that I can be a winner. I know that I can do it. I believe that when I go into the market and trade that I will make money. You have to be confident. You have to have confidence in yourself. Number three, conviction. I put hearts here because to me, conviction is my heart, my passion. I don't even remember doing this. I don't think I taped the room that day. It was the day of the XPR. The whole room said I screamed when that trade broke because I actually had done three ads in that before it broke. I was in that heavily, um, more so than I just put in there in this little uh, example. They said I screamed. I, I screamed of just ecstasy. I don't remember doing it. But to me, conviction, I must have because everybody talked about it. But conviction to me is a passion. It's a passion. It's my heart, my soul. I have 100% conviction this gap is going to work today. I absolutely love this chart. I know it's going to gap down. I absolutely want to do this thing. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Go. Oh, conviction is I believe. I believe in my process. I believe in my rating system. I believe in myself. I know I can do it. I love making money. I love the market. It's, it's, it's my passion. This is my soul. It's conviction. you got to have this. And number four, commitment. Commitment means taking classes, learning the process, going through it, and being committed. Being committed enough to actually pay someone to learn. I mean, that is commitment. There's a level of commitment that's involved when you take a trading course like mine. The commitment is, I am saying, I want to learn this. I want to get this right. I believe that I can do it. And, and I believe in you, you, Melissa, and I believe in the market, and I know that I can learn something from you to help me make money. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to train. Uh, the course is called the Golden Gap course, and it's this weekend. It's the last class I'm doing for 2013. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. It is an online class. Retakes are free. You can be anywhere in the world and take this class. Any time zone. It's online. You sign into the room. It's from 9 to 5. Now, I am doing a special bonus day for this end of the year to not only help get uh, the people that are trading with me to become better and get them ramped up for 2014, uh, but also for new people, this is a, this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, I'm doing a third day. The cost of the class is $24.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. This December special end of the year class is a bonus day. And what we're going to do is we're going to trade live on the Monday, okay, on the 16th 
And then we're going to go over gaps like EXPR, SOL, all these ones I just talked about that have just happened in the last two months. We're going to go back and we're going to go through point, point, point the ratings on these and see how they all set up and worked out. We're going to go through real-time gaps that happened recently. This is something new I'm doing for the end of the year special. It's going to help uh, people to get ramped up for next year to see how these things are working in real live time. This is above and beyond. I'm giving an extra day of my time to teach three days for the same price as normally two days. So this is a full-on tutorial here, this three-day class. I'm giving it my all because I really want people to succeed. And the people that are with me are allowed to retake the class for free. As soon as you sign up for the class, you can retake it anytime for free. So I'm doing this as much for new people as for my current traders because I want them to have a good 2014 year. So get on the right path to success with the Golden Gap course. Remember, 2014 is almost here. The time to have the life you want is now. If not now, when? It, it, seriously, if not now, when? It is time for you to be happy now. And you've got to empower yourself to trade. If you want to do something to change your life, think about this. The market is serious business, and it really can help you to have the life you want because there's so much money that's available in the market. And you don't have to trade or take a lot of hours out of your day to do it. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Let me ask you, answer a couple questions here. And here's my email. Bookie has a question. Bookie, it depends. Bookie's asking what's the minimum capital. If you're a beginner trader, I would not risk more than $30 to $50 per train. If you're an intermediate trader, I risk between $100 and $150. And in advance, obviously, you can risk uh, whatever you can stomach risk wise, I'd say between three and 500. The minimum capital trading requirement, it depends on the broker that you use. You are going to have to find a broker that will give you leverage to day trade and talk to them about the minimum capital required. I am not a broker, I'm an educational firm, but I certainly can refer you to several brokers that I know um, and that I have referred people to or have traded that personally myself to give you a couple options. So you can email me and then I will refer you to some brokers. And, and that goes for anyone as well if you want to uh, look into some different places. You can certainly do that. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions about anything? Anything I said here today, um, anything about any of the trains? Anything about any of the thing, uh, the four C's I talked about at the end, you know, I mean, I am really, really, really convinced more than ever that this idea of commitment and conviction and confidence and clarity, you, you got to have it. You need it. Uh, yes, Tim is asking about the pattern day trading. If you go to a retail broker, you need 25000 or more. If you go to a proprietary day trading firm, then every proprietary day trading firm has different requirements. Some of them you can open up accounts with as little as $2,500. You'd have to talk to each individual place. They have their own requirements because you're basically trading their capital, their funded capital. They're giving you higher leverage, more than the normal retail broker accounts. And they all have different requirements. And so you kind of have to talk to them yourself. I always tell people, reach out to the people directly and ask the questions you need to the broker. How much are the commissions? What are the platform fees? Uh, you know, what is the buying power? What should my daily stop loss be? What is the capital requirement? All of these things, okay? But that's secondary. The first thing's first, you got to learn what to do. And I, I can send people free demos. If you're interested, practice on a demo. It, it doesn't cost you anything to be on the demo. You're not risking any money at all. You practice on a demo for, for a couple of weeks. Get good on the demo. And then after that, you can look into different types of brokers, whether you want to go retail or prop. The cost of the course, here it is. It's $24.99. Is the class tuition fee? I never do promotions on the Golden Gap course, Tim. I am actually doing promotions for Golden Gap course students for the other classes I offer till the end of the year. Some discounts for the room and some of my other courses, but not the Golden Gap class. I'll never do a discounting cost for this. In fact, the price of the class has gone up this year. So if you're serious about doing it, uh, that is the cost of the class. But I'm doing this extra special bonus day if anyone's interested. 
Um, I use this platform here. And that's the data provider. I use Sterling. Okay. They're very, uh, they're, everybody has them. I mean, there's, everybody offers them. Uh, another good platform is DOS. You can use them as well. Excellent uh, data provider. I mean, the main things that you're looking for when you're looking for a platform is speed of execution uh, and good timing for actual seeing the price. Like when I'm trading, I'm looking at a couple different things uh, to actually check the price, that I'm getting the accurate price when I'm seeing the setups. So uh, that's why I put this freestockcharts.com on here. You can actually watch that in the morning and check that with your platform because this is free to see that you're getting the same price data feed to see that it's actually the same number, okay, and it's in real time. But those are two good platforms there, Sterling and DOS, although there's tons of them. I mean, there's just a lot of different good platforms out there. What you need is something that has accurate data and speed of execution to take positions in and off. Um, no, I mean, I have a live, live as live can be. I mean, I use, uh, I have cable, uh, internet, uh, which is fast, and you got to have a good internet speed. Um, you have to check all this stuff, too. Uh, I don't trade like ever on Wi-Fi or anything. Like I'm connected, hardwired in on a on a computer, and uh, I use cable internet. And all of this stuff, you know, is part of getting set up. You know, getting set up. And I have two monitors, two two twenty-four inch monitors. Some people have a million monitors. I find that two is more than enough. And actually, you could trade just with one. I'm running the room, so I have two, but one is more than sufficient, honestly. And I know Kevin is, um, is going to come on here soon, but if anybody has any more questions here, just email me. Just email me right here if anyone has any questions or if you're interested in the course. It's going to be an exciting last class of the year because I'm doing that day three. I've already got people signed up, and I am I do really classes where I try to keep a limited number of people uh, because I'm doing everything myself where I'm actually doing all the talking, um, and I don't want the classes to go to midnight. <laughs> So if you are seriously interested, email me and I'll send you the papers to register to do it. And uh, I think it's going to be great. You know, uh, I've really made an impact on some people's trading this year. And I'm very proud of myself for doing that. And that's why I wanted to talk about the fact that there's some regular, regular people that I've taught. And I can also send you referrals if you would like to talk to clients as well. Um, I have never used them ever, Frank. So I can't say. I've never used that platform in my life. I, I'm, I can only speak for the ones. I only speak for places I've traded at or platforms I've used. I'm only going to speak from experience. Experience in everything I'm doing and everybody I've worked with. So you can get an honest reaction from me. But I've never used that platform, Frank. But I can send you, you know, uh, some free demos to use to check something else out. And if you're having issues with the platform, you shouldn't, you know. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, great, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Email me if you would like more information. Have a safe drive home if anyone's driving home tonight. I hear we're getting six inches of snow tomorrow as well here in the Northeast, so be careful. And have a great evening. Anybody needs anything, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Wonderful. It was great. Thanks for coming out, everyone, tonight. Thanks for so much. And if I don't see some of you, happy holidays. And for those of you that I will see before the holidays, happy holidays anyways. <laughs> and I'll talk to everybody soon. Thank you so much, Online Trader Central. Have a good one.